Welcome back, Outriders, to another Legendary Showcase. This time, we're looking at an armor set. This is the Plague set that is known for generating stacks for defense based on your toxic spread. It's supposed to synergize with the Blighted Rounds. Let's take a look at it. So, for the Plague set, let's talk about the bonus and get into what pieces I'm using and why. Now, I have the headgear with the skull, and I'm choosing to use this one. The set bonus is upon applying toxic status, gain 5% damage reduction for 5 seconds. It stacks up as many times as you can spread this. Now, the skull right here had a perk that spread, which is supposed to probably synergize with that bonus. It adds and expands how much you can hit people with toxicity, which generates your stacks. Again, extremely situational. It's going to help initially, but eventually as they die... Your stacks are going to get lower, lower, and lower. So I'm not a fan of that. So I decided to go with Sharp Eye and replace that for more honest, true DPS for my Pestilence Top Tree build. Radical Therapy was on there by default, making this a very easy decision as it had the attributes that I'm looking for. Cooldown, close range, and firepower, all great options. I chose to skip on the chest piece, and the reason for that is, though it does have the attributes I like, the mods simply just are going to do nothing for me. Anomaly Power is really not going to help this build. No Pain, No Gain doesn't really do anything for me either. Extremely situational, especially as a guy that plays a lot of solo. It really doesn't do much for me, but it is what it is. The Pants were another easy decision for me. Firepower, status power, and close range damage, all great things. The fact that it came with Spare Mag, again, another essential piece for those that are trying to put together builds for the Blighted damage. Great option, and I put on Kingslayer as well so that I can really get and generate some of those stacks and kills and keep it rolling. A gloves, a little bit harder decision, but clearly an obvious one as the other two just don't fit with my build whatsoever. Max health, which is not really great. Status power, close range, which are okay. This one actually comes with a tier 3 euthanizer, which is arguably one of the best mods for a Technomancer with a toxic build with Blighted. And of course, Trick Up the Sleet is basically a great value version of toxic lead. So you get 30% extra bullets in your mag, but if you're killing and you're great DPS, this is going to keep you with permanent uptime on its own. So that is a perfectly wonderful perk on its own. The boots are one of my standard sets, and I decided to not go with these, and it stands for itself. Max health, no. The other two are solid, but both of which being blighted turret builds, it really just doesn't simply do anything for me, and I don't know, maybe with some sort of hybrid build or something else, this could really fit, but for me, based on what I want to do it with, this entire set with these three pieces feel more like a placeholder for those that don't have their perfect god roll sets. Like I said, they have great essential mods, and you're getting firepower on a couple of them, these could be better than a lot of standard epics that many people are using and could hold them over until they find the perfect god roll for them that are maybe looking for long range, close range, and firepower, but they're still going to be looking for these mods regardless. So let's see what this thing can do. Just with my first introduction to the skill and combination of these, I was immediately turned off. I saw stacking armor, yay, for five seconds, boo. And it didn't have any limit, and I feel like that's supposed to synergize with a helmet that's supposed to expand the amount of targets that are hit by it. But with the way that armor works in this game, the way that the absorption works, the way that it all factors out, is a very weird system. And honestly, I don't feel like I'm necessarily any stronger with this setup, regardless. Even with the helmet, I don't see it happening. And when just one simple mod, something like damage absorption, there's mitigation from death, there are just so many ways. You know, the golem stance like i just don't see me taking time to put together a legendary set and utilize it when there are just standalone single mods out there that can do as good work passively adapt or even stack and probably do a lot more than this could ever do and all i gotta do is use one mod slot instead of having to stay within the confines of three particular pieces have to settle for you know a piece of health or a bunch of status power when I could be using short or close or long range damage. I just, it's very restrictive. But as I said, the pieces themselves, even without any of the set, could be great placeholders. I could just use the helm, right? Like I could use it as a placeholder for me putting together a top tree pestilence build. And again, I guess it probably doesn't necessarily hurt, but it doesn't seem very impactful. I'm killing a few people at a time, but you know, by the time I kill a few guys and I move on, the stacks are gone. And I just don't feel it, and I'd like to assume that they stacked, they deteriorate, it doesn't mention it does that. It's just a very weird thing that, that you want to try to put together, but I think there's so many things in there uh, that you have to consider, you know, caps to, to armor and, and mitigation. It's just, 
I'm not a fan of this build. I just simply am not. I know it's supposed to probably be some kind of hybrid mixture. Uh, maybe if it was more anomaly power or something, I can go full-blown healer with it, but also some DPS. Then I have firepower, and I'm stuck with that. I just simply don't know the direction of this build. I don't know what they were aiming for. It looks like almost it was like a hybrid healer damage build, and I just simply don't see it fitting into the meta. So it's pretty cool looking. I'm going to give it that. But at the end of the day, the armor pieces on their own are very great. You know, they're decent placeholders for Pestilence build Technomancers. But together, I just don't see it being something anybody uses. I just think they're just really good defensive mods out there that you can use and don't have to worry about generating stacks or staying within the confines of this build. So that's my opinion. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not great either. And I don't honestly think it's worth using in any capacity. Maybe you guys can think of a way that it works. Let me know down in the comment section below. But for now, this is a definite pass for me. And that's how I feel about it. So, guys, if you're new here, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Legendary Showcases. Do not forget to tick that bell so you don't miss them in your sub box. And if you could leave a like to help get this video out there a little more, I would really appreciate it. Thank you again for your time. Thanks for clicking on this video. I'll catch you with another one soon.